Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Raymond Jeffries, and thank you for listening to my podcast, Forex Faction, The Journey to Financial Freedom. And this podcast, as it states in the title, it's going to be geared towards anyone who wants financial freedom and control of their own lives. In this podcast, I'm going to be going over what actions I am taking to hopefully provide value to others and give them ideas of how they can be working towards reaching this goal in their lives. This podcast will also delve deep into my love of trading and the journey a trader takes to become consistently profitable. This isn't what you see in the movies or what you're sold online with the -the over-the-top parties and Lamborghinis. When it comes to trading, I will be going through my different day-to-day issues that arise to hopefully shed some light on an industry that sold fake dreams and show what it truly takes to become consistently profitable and the hard work that comes with it. I also want to break this narrative that this is some get-rich-quick scheme because it very much isn't. Yo, what's up, everyone? How's it going? This is Raymond Jeffries. Firstly, I just want to say thank you to all those new listeners out there. Thank you guys for taking time out of day to listen to the show. And if you guys have listened to the show before, thank you guys for coming back and listening to the show. Um, hopefully, this show is providing value to you guys and, you know, just different ideas I'm having in regards to my trading journey to be helpful to you guys on yours as well. So in this particular episode, as you guys probably read in the title, um, I hope it wasn't too clickbaity, but you know, this past week of trading has been very slow for me, so trading has been boring. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that is shedding some light onto some of you in regards to what tr- live trading looks like, because believe me, it was something that was something that I didn't really think about, or I didn't think was the case when I first started trading. But when you start trading live, trading is actually pretty boring because you, uh, well, it should be boring. Okay, I take that back. It should be boring Um, because when you start trading live, you kind of should have an idea of what your portfolio is. You have an idea of what you're looking at. You can do your analysis. And then once you do your analysis, I guess it depends on the the time frame you're trading. But since because I trade on the hourly, I can kind of do my analysis in the morning. And then I kind of have an idea of what the rest of the day is going to look like or what's even in play in regards to what's in my portfolio of what I'm looking at. So and if there's nothing tradable for me you know like the market's consolidating i have patterns on the radar and they just don't complete and then they are you know it's a boring day it's and it's been like that for the past week actually it's kind of kind of strange you, you know once you go live you notice you have weeks where i've had weeks where i've had like 10 trades happen 11 trades and then a week where like last week i only had one trade uh well one carryover from the previous week and just one trade all last week and it's it's one of those things where they don't tell you that um, when you start trading live, you you know, you picture the movies, you picture um, you should be clicking on buttons, you should be analyzing the charts. I you know feel like you're missing something. I honestly don't feel like I'm missing anything because I know my trade plan. I know what I'm supposed to be trading. I know the markets I'm supposed to be trading. I know my portfolio. I go through this. I go through it in the morning. Like I said, I go through it at night. I go through it even after market when I do my aftermarket analyzing. And I kind of see what it's on there. And there's no, if there's nothing there, like I don't need to be staring at the charts all day. And I don't, the last thing I want to do is I want to force a trade or anything like that. So, you know, like, like I said, trading has been boring this past week. So I'm not surprised considering it was a holiday last week too. Well, I guess a holiday here in the States. And actually I kind of find myself really enjoying these weeks. I know it sounds kind of weird. You're a trader. You should want to be in the market. Like, yeah, of course I want to be in the market, but I don't want to be in the market just to be in the market. There is no time to dollar correlation when it comes to trading. I think that's what people don't realize as well. Just because you spend more time staring at your charts and being in the markets, it doesn't mean you're going to be more profitable. If anything, that means you'll have more time to make more mistakes and and you end up like killing your profits. But these weeks are, have actually been, I found to be the most enjoyable weeks for me, especially now that I'm live trading. And the reason for that is because I use these weeks to to advance myself and not just trading in other ways possible. You know, I like I said, I do back testing during these weeks, but I also have other interests as well. Um, and it's okay to have other interests as a trader. You know, it's okay to be focused on trading, but also be focused on other things as well. You want to advance it because it's one of those things where you know we feel like, okay, this is our one thing. We have to be focused on it 24 seven. And that, I mean, I, I would like to think I'm a little bit more more faceted than that. That's not the right word I'm looking for, but you get, you get the idea of what I'm talking 
talking about more diverse than that. I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, there's other stuff I like to do. And, you know, these type of weeks are actually pretty awesome because it gives me time to really focus on those other things I'm working on, other advancements, my uh, the other self-development side of, of, like, of what I'm trying to get, like, get out of life. And it's, like I said, it's actually really enjoyable. So, you know, I hope you guys are doing the same when you're having these slow weeks, you know, working on something else, working on something to make yourself better. Because when you're just focused on trading, you kind of, I don't want you know, you don't get tired of it. But when you're just staring at the charts, you know, it's it's not helpful. And when, if you're not live right now, when you do go live, plan on having a hobby because you are going to have a lot of free time on your hands, especially if you have a dedicated trading plan, you trade certain time frames during certain hours, you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands. So, you know, folk, think about what you guys like to do. And then, you know, kind of have an idea what you wanna work on. So, with this being said, you know, it's been, it's like, I, like I said, I've been working on my self development in and out of the market these past, especially these past couple of weeks. One thing that I've learned, uh, especially like you know, during these times, especially when I started going live, uh, because I demo traded for a little bit, you know, I demo traded long enough to, to make sure I had the rhythms going. But now that I'm live and I'm, you know, I'm actually in the market, living it with, you know, that empty space to the right of the chart. It's, it's different. It just it just is different because there's actual money involved. There's actual emotion involved because there's, you know, there's money involved. But it's like I said, it's it's instilled to me trading in general has instilled to me especially live trading how important patience is so now me me now compared to me when i was you know younger me i would say that's the biggest thing i have now that i'm actually really proud of myself um i have a, i have a massive amount of patience and i think that's the problem we have with a lot of people nowadays and not just trading but people who want to be successful in anything and i think that's the biggest difference between those who are successful and those who aren't is the fact that people aren't as patient as they used to be or people just aren't patient in general especially with the world we live in now we want what we want and we want it now and you know it it's understandable you know we have the you know before when i was a kid god makes me sound so old when i was a kid you know we didn't have the internet um, at our hands well you know relatively when i was a teenager i guess we had it but it's not like i could just pop in my phone and kind of figure something out if i actually wanted to know something i would have to look it up use a book god i used to hate when people said that when people used to be like oh how do you spell this and they would just say look it up and i'm like hey they would say look it up in a dictionary and it's like well if i knew how to look it up in a dictionary i would know kind of how to spell it yeah sorry that was a side note kind of annoying but you know like i said it's just a different world now now you we all have our phones we kind of get everything instantly so it's really hard for people when it comes to kind of learning trading because trading is a skill that you learn it's something that takes time it's not something that you know that you can learn after you know a weekend of looking at charts it's it's something that that takes time to craft and take time to work with your per not with your personality in general because when you're learning to trade you know you're crafting a plan you're you're learning an act you're learning an active skill and I think the, the danger is that people feel like, okay, I can trade now as a newbie trader. All I got to do is learn one thing, learn a setup, then I can be a successful trader like all the other traders in the world. And that is honestly just not how it is. And what, what I want to tell people is, you know, don't let social media fool you because becoming a proficient trader being is a is a skill and it takes time it takes two things the two things i think that you need to be a successful trader first of all you need to have the right mindset which is something i definitely did not have when i first started trading you need to go into it with the right mindset on the right expectations of what it takes to be a successful trader and the second thing you need to have is you need to have patience aka time you need to give yourself time to learn the skill because it's not something you learn like i said right away it takes time to cultivate the skill it takes time it takes experience in the market it takes just staring at a chart looking at the ebbs and flows making predictions day in and day out I would say that's the one big thing that has improved a lot in my personal trading since I went live. Because, you know, when you're trading, when you're back testing, it's a certain thing. You know, you're kind of look you're kind of looking for a specific setup that you would take at a specific location. Now I feel like as I've grown in my in my trading just, you know, being in the markets day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute, 
making predictions, I feel like I've gotten better at making my predictions. And that's, you know, that's just from time. That's from reps. That's from time in the market. I'm, I'm, I'm increasing my skill of making these predictions from time being in the market. And you don't get that just by learning a setup. Yeah, yeah, you you can learn a setup, but it doesn't does it help you predict where the market's going to go next, or you know, it, it does it help you identify different areas in the market where you would even want to take that setup? No, you just learn. You just have a tool. You have it. You have a setup, and I think that's the problem now is that people are so focused on reaching the goal. Yes, you want to have a overarching goal of why you're trading and what you're working towards. But people are so focused on the goal that they don't focus on the, the the process. They don't focus on the process of getting better and building that foundation in themselves and their trading to where if something goes wrong, they can lean on that. They focus on, this is where I want to be. I want to make this much money. I need to do this. I need to follow this setup. I need to, instead of learning, they, they, want, they want to learn the setup, but they don't learn how price action works. <laughs> they, they, they don't learn how to read a chart. And like I said, I am definitely guilty of this. Believe me, I'm, I'm only saying this because I know from experience how it feels to be in that position of wanting to to reach your goal and you know wanting to work so hard and but you don't really go about learning the right way you just you think you're learning the right way but instead you're just learning a setup and that doesn't get you anywhere and when i now that i look back and you know i i think about this i think about this all the time actually i ask you know what would be the the thing i would tell my younger self what would be the advice I would kind of instill in, in my younger self and tell, helping him along his journey? And I think the thing I would tell myself is that the tactics, you know, like the the learning, the 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 setups, that's only, that's like a tool. That's only 20 to 25 percent of trading. When we're younger, we all think that's the holy grail. That's when we or at least when we first start trading, we think that's the holy grail. We think that's the thing that we need to know. Well, that's the thing we need to to improve ourselves to get better at training. We need to know the next the next tip. We need to know the next the um, the way to attack the market in regards to you know what I need to know the greatest setup that wins ninety percent of the time and you know, so, you know is going to triple my triple my money in like a few weeks. And what I would definitely tell myself is the biggest thing you need to practice on and learning is your psychology. Because I think that is the majority of what trading is. It really is because a setup is a setup. You know, a setup is a setup. And without any context to that setup, it's here's here's an analogy I, I, I would I would give someone. Let me let me think this out. The way, when I think of a setup, I think of a setup as as a tool. And what I mean by that is a setup is a as a tool in a bigger machine. So Think of yourself, or okay, here's an example. I got it. I got it. I got a good example. Think of a plumber or a construction worker, right? If you were a if you were to hire a plumber or a construction worker, you could hire me and we could have I could have the same exact tools as this plumber or construction worker. You know, we could have the same hammer, we could have the same, you know, same, I don't I don't know what the hell they use, plunger, who knows. And but would you feel more comfortable hiring me or them? Of course, you would feel more comfortable hiring them. I would recommend not hiring me because I would definitely, you know, tear yourself up and I would just ruin whatever you wanted me to fix. Uh, um, but that's beyond the point. You, you would definitely hire them. And why is that? Because they have spent years cultivating the skill of either construction or plumbing. And trading is no, is, is, is no different because we all are focused on the setup and the tool. That's the tool. Yes, you. I can give the same tool to two different traders and they can use it completely different. One can use it right and one can use it bad, you know, and, and that's and it's just a tool. It's not the tool. It's the actual person using the tool and implementing the tool in the market or in, you know, plumbing or whatever, who is what you want to be or, you know, who you're hiring in, in that in that instance. So what th- what that means is you should focus on yourself and improving yourself and improving the actual skill of trading as opposed to just the setup. And the skill is something that takes a long time to learn. Uh, I want to say a long time, but it definitely takes time to learn because it's the skill of reading price is not easy. Um, I, it's, it's funny, like I always tell people, trading is simple. 
but it's not easy. And I think there's no truer statement than that because trading truly is simple. It's, it's, it's funny, my mentor used to always say this. Trading is simple, but it's not easy. And I would be like, and when I see him do, you know, reading charts, I'd be like, man, what are you talking about? Like, this is impossible. I can't do this. Like, Jesus, like, how how can you just break down a chart in like a few minutes and be like, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at. I'm not this. You can just look at a chart and be like, no, I'm not looking at anything here and just move on to the next pair. And for me, I'd be like, man, like, how, how do you do that? Like, how do you how do you know when you instantly look at a chart? There's nothing there. And I know I know what he means now. And I know that because. I spent time learning the skill of my trading and I've learned my setups within that trading skill. So now when I look at certain markets, I can I can almost look at a chart on a on my higher time frame and know whether I'd be interested or not. Well, you know, before I even go to my trading time frame, I look at my higher time frame and be like, uh, there's nothing really here. Or uh, this is probably setting up this consolidation, I'm looking for this. Or you can kind of look at it and kind of know what you're going to be looking at. And that is because learning these markets and learning to do that, that's a skill. You know, that's not just looking for a setup. That's spending time, spending hours looking at charts, being in charts and, you know, understanding how price works and how it works within your within your specific plan and being able to look at the chart and be like, oh, I got nothing there. All right. Next pair. I'm not going to spend hours looking at this if I don't need to. And I think that's that's a skill. It takes time to learn that. And I really hope that plumber slash construction um, analogy really made sense because, you know, when it comes to learning any skill, it's beyond the tools. It's and, and that there, there's it's funny how trading has opened my eyes to different facets of life and just how it's taught me patience in other areas, because so many times we're so like I say, just humans in general, you'd be surprised I'm learning, like I said, I'm learning other skills and in, in, in these other areas where I'm trying to learn, so many people are focused on the tools, the tools. OK, well, how, well or, or the tactic. OK, well, what do I do here? What's the tactic I do here? You know, what, what tools do you use instead of learning, instead of just trying to get one percent better every day? focusing on the process and understanding that you're not going to learn the skill in a day, a week, a month. It will take time in the charts and it, it the, the more time you spend, the better you'll get. That's just, what's the word I'm looking for? That's just from, from being around it, you know, like the, the more time you spend with something, the better you'll get at it. You know, if you want to get better at basketball, spend more time on the court dribbling the basketball. If you want to run faster, train, train harder, train, train more. Cause let me tell you something, someone who spends eight hours a day on a basketball court is going to be better than someone who spends 15 minutes a week. And, and so, so if you're asking yourself, okay, well, why aren't I at where I'm supposed to be in trading? Like, are are you, are you spending, not just spending time just to spend time, not just being at the charts, you know, looking for things, uh, looking at ways to get involved, but actually spending time going through your charts after the market, especially on slow days like this. Like I said, I'm not I'm not advocating just spending all day in the charts just to spend time in the charts, you know, just looking for setups like I was saying. But I'm saying actively spending time in the charts, looking for, you know, going through your charts, looking at price action, learning different skill, like no, like just seeing how price acts at different levels, seeing what clues price is giving you, going back at the end of your day, looking at your charts and being like, okay, well, how could I have gotten involved in this move? What was there? Okay, let me mark that down in my journal. Let me let me ch- make sure to keep track of that in the future. That's something you guys can do. And you know, if you're not improving, that's something you might want to ask yourself. Okay, is this something I should be doing? Because especially on slow days like this, instead of you know, just instead of just watching TV or you know, watching Netflix or something like that, you know, you should be working on yourself. Working on and even, even if it's like I said, even if it's not trading, if it's something else, if it's something. Or something else you have a passion for. Hell, if you like playing guitar, learn a skill. If you like learning different languages, practice a different language. If you got work, you know, at your other job, maybe maybe work ahead, get something done early so you can focus on trading later. You know, and that's and that's and that's just having the mindset of wanting to get better a little a little bit every day, and no, no matter what area in life you're trying to get better in. So you might be asking yourself, you know, when did this shift come in my mindset? When when did I start focusing on the process as opposed to focusing on the end goal? This shift came in my mindset when I really started taking I started owning my failures. I started owning my failures as a trader and I started owning my failures in just, you know, other facets of life where I, you know, took responsibility for it. 
And that's the hardest, <laughs> I guess the hardest part as a human being is taking responsibility for your errors. And well, but once you do, it's actually very liberating. You you start to realize, okay, well, if I take fa- if I take responsibility for my failures, it really shows you that you can truly do anything you can put your mind to. And I know that's so, you know, that's such a thing people say or whatever, but I really, especially when it comes to trading, I know that the only thing stopping me from being successful is me because I feel like I've been trained well to read price. I've been trained well in the process of trading. I've been trained well into finding out whether my system is profitable and I know how to do it. So at this point, if I fail, it's on me. It's not on, you know, I was trained wrong. It's not on some market maker or something like that. No, it's on me. And now I just, and now for me, it's just a test. It's a test of patience and getting 1% better every day. And after these years, it's, it's tough. And, you know, it was tough. It was tough when I, like I said, when I got to that point, but it became so much better. And I would say the past year and a half or maybe year and a quarter, the progression I've made in just life in general is light years compared to where I was maybe like the past five years before that. And that was from just, own, like I said, owning up to stuff, owning up to my life, owning up to where I was and just getting better. Focus on getting better 1% every day. And I will say this, and it's, and it's, <laughs> you'll, you'll, if you guys are new, you'll learn it as well. The market is very humbling. Very, very, very humbling. If you go into it cocky, thinking you can master it, uh, I hate to tell you, it's, hey, may, may, maybe you're the 1% of traders who can do it. If you are, shit, m- more power to you. You know, I, I'm, I'm happy for you. But the majority of us retail traders, you know, we, we can't go into it thinking we're going to master something. You'll, you'll never master it because it it literally has like a mind of its own. It, it'll do whatever it wants when it wants. And I, I used to I used to fight that so much. And I'd be like, oh, no, if I'm doing this, the market has to go here. And then someone was like, the market can do whatever the hell it wants. You can't do nothing about it. And then once you realize that, you realize you can't control the market. You can't. I know it sounds so simple, but you can't. So when I enter a position, that's what that's what helped me just be like, okay, well, enter position. I can't do anything beyond this point. So I just leave it alone. I don't even look at it because I know the more I look at it and that plays back to, you know, having patience and faith in my plan and, you know, not just staring at the charts all day, every day. I just let it play out because I know I have no power over it. I have power what I have power over and I what I don't, I let it be because I can't do anything about it. And the market will humble you on on, on this trading journey. Take it in stride. Take it in other areas of life when you're learning new skills, because I know I definitely have, and it's definitely helped me learn other skills in my life, and it's been very beneficial for me. Don't don't take it personal. The market doesn't hate you. The market hates everybody. <laughs> um, now, what I want you guys to do is I want to, you know, I want you to ask yourself, you know, what are you focusing on in your life that you're focusing on the tool, whether it be trading, whether it be another skill you're trying to learn, like. What are you, what in your life are you just so focused on the tool? You're not focusing on the process. You're not focused on getting that 1% better every day. Cause this is one of those things where I think it's important for us to just self check, check yourself and be like, okay, well, damn, what he said was right. I am so focused on this goal of, you know, being this trader who, who travels the world trading. Believe me, that was something that I focused on as well. Raise your hand if you're with me. I know you probably are, or at least some of you are. And it's it was a struggle, you know, a struggle coming to the realization that, you know, I'm, you know, having those highs and lows being like, maybe it's not possible. And now I think that is completely something that's completely po- possible. You know, it, it it's, it's like a, it's like a roller coaster. And like I said, the market will humble you. So think instead of focusing on the goal, focus on and focusing on the tools, focus on the process of getting one percent better every day. And I want you guys to ask yourself, what in your life are you doing that to with? And how can you flip that and start focusing on the process of just getting 1% better every day? All right. And with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the podcast. I hope you guys got something out of it. You know, whether it be like motivational or something like that, I don't know, that's not even what I was trying to do, but whether it's something just to help you notice different facets of your life, you guys got that out of this podcast and what, what are getting some value of what I'm, what I'm saying to you guys, because I have been in a position of very much a struggling trader and without the right mindset. And now I'm not. So it's really, it feels good. It feels good to go into the market knowing exactly what I'm going to do every day. 
and not being stressed out about it and not just looking for opportunities. I know what's mine. I, I know what I'm supposed to take. and I know what I'm not supposed to. And it's 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 a it's a mindset switch. And um, hope you like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you guys did um, hit that like and subscribe button down below if you're on YouTube. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a YouTube channel. You guys can check it out. I do come up with new videos every Wednesday and every Wednesday and Saturday. And I'm actually thinking about doing this as a video podcast in the future. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys can rate and review the show, I would love to know what you guys think on iTunes or wherever it may be as well. Stay safe and stay steadfast on reaching your goals. I will see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your trading weeks. Take care. Bye.